Yeah. Yep. Okay, we're right now in uh, Michelle's house. She doesn't want to get the, the sofa with us. Here, I'll go. You ready? Yay. Anyway, she just had a fabulous spot. Like, I mean, Michelle is the woman. If I'm the man, she is the woman. Anyway, uh, about a month and a half ago, I met a rich and uh, through uh, Michelle's potluck. I didn't really meet him, we were, I just saw him. And I said to myself, I should say something, but I didn't want to say something, because I realized I thought he had cancer. And then I was actually Michelle, later on said he did have cancer. And, um, and uh, she came to me, she came to my store and asked him, uh, what can we do for Rich? And I just told him some of the things that I believe he should do. I uh, get some books and uh, these are, you know, books on green smoothies. And she took this information, gave it to Rich, and Rich, I want you to just tell your story. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, I was diagnosed four months ago. Uh, diffuse large B cell lymphoma. Uh, it's cancer in the lymphatic system. Um, it's staged at stage four, which is considered terminal. Um, and uh, the doctors were very, you know, happy that uh, and convinced that they could cure the cancer with chemotherapy. And I was very unconvinced that they could do it. Um, uh, but through fear and pressure, I, I did do one uh, uh, session of chemotherapy in the hospital and never again. I saw because your parents did not believe in the... Yeah, yeah, I, I talked it over with them and at first they were supportive of my decision not to do chemotherapy and then they went home right. and discussed it among themselves and right. then came back the next day and said we'd really like you to do it. <laughs> so I caved in and went against my better judgment and decided to do it. and. Just going through it convinced me not to do it again. Right. Um, but uh, I was in the hospital for 10 days, right. and uh, one of the worst days I was having in the hospital, I was completely run down. Right. Uh, I was on an oxygen tank the entire time. Right. I had no energy, could barely move. By the way, you look great. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> I feel great. And uh, Michelle brought in a green smoothie. Oh, right. And uh, I drank that, and 10 minutes later, it felt like I had drank about 12 <laughs> cups of coffee. I was like completely wired. I was shaking like I had. I was having a caffeine rush. I had right. to get out of bed. Right. I was like, "Get me a portable oxygen tank. I gotta walk around for a while." And they looked. I was like this, this little scrawny little guy. I looked, it looked horrible. And I'm lit, sitting here dragging my oxygen tank around the hospital because I couldn't sit with a green smoothie because I couldn't sit still. But uh, I, uh, after I got out of the hospital, I decided I wasn't gonna do any more conventional treatments. I wanted to do it all natural. I completely changed my diet. Uh, kept up with the green smoothies every single day. Every single day. Every single day. Every the first couple of weeks. Right. Yeah, the first couple of weeks I got out of the hospital it was it was sporadic. I'd do it one day and then go a couple of days and then right. do another and do it two days in a row. Right. But after two weeks I was doing it every single day and I haven't missed a day since. I haven't missed a day. Wow. Yeah, and um, it's been four months. Uh, changed my diet completely. No processed foods. No, no refined sugar. No flour. Uh, processed bleached flour, anything like that. No trip to McDonald's. No McDonald's, no fast food. Um, yeah, and uh, all whole natural foods. The majority is uh, fresh fruits and vegetables, okay. seeds, grains. Right. And uh, just had a, uh, a PET scan last Thursday, and uh, my oncologist gave me the news on Monday they can't find the cancer anywhere. So you're saying the cancer came, you free yourself of cancer by drinking, you truly left a green smoothie. Yes, definitely. Definitely a green smoothie. Definitely. Yeah. Absolutely. The smoothies cost you next to nothing. Nothing. Yeah. And cost of the fruit and five, ten minutes to make it. Five, ten minutes. Yeah. And and I what was the thing that scared you about chemotherapy, by the way? Oh, uh, yeah. The f when they wheeled the uh, IV bags in to administer the uh, chemicals, they had these the gigantic uh, orange hazardous material stickers you'll see on like uh, trucks going down the highway, right. transporting hazardous material. Yeah, and that, that scared me more than even thinking about the cancer. And what about the plants and the, remember some Yeah, flowers? because of the uh, chemotherapy, it destroys your immune system. So my doctor said I have to stay away from fresh flowers and fresh fruit because any bacteria could cause an infection that I might not recover from. So I was like that, and it just didn't make any sense to destroy my immune system with right. chemicals. Right. To get rid of the cancer when it's the immune system, system. Will, will build up your exactly. Immune. It made more sense for me to build up my immune system right. and let my body do what it's naturally designed right. to do. And it, four yeah. months later, amazingly, I thought right. it would take longer, but right. uh, I knew it was going to happen. I thought right. it was going to take longer. Right, right. But four months later, yeah, and they get back. How much weight did you gain back? Uh, I only gained like ten pounds. I lost much better weight. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I weighed probably one seventy before I started feeling sick, and then. 
due to the fluid buildup because of the cancer. I yeah, went up to 195. Yeah, you, had a, you had a big tumor? Yeah, I had a fist-sized tumor in my abdomen, and then it metastasized and went to my brain, and they found another one in my brain. So you found, you found a tumor in your brain, a tumor in your stomach, and you're saying by drinking green smoothies every day for four months, it went away. Di changes in diet. That's pretty hard to believe, isn't it? <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, I deal with people with yeah. brain tumors, yeah. and they want to cut out their hook. They want to cut, exactly. cut open their head. They want to Yes, with a handsaw, mm -hmm. <laughs> right with a handsaw. Right. They cut her head and then you remove the tumor. Yep. And you're saying, great smoothies every day, went to the stomach, went to the brain, completely gone. La that and lots of exercise, that's I definitely exercise. attribute it to that. Definitely. definitely. Yep, no doubt. Well, that's good, that's good testimony. Mm -hmm. Is that good testimony? That's awesome. Awesome. Okay, anything else? Yeah, that's it. Good, yeah. Thanks a lot.